Hi, this is tutorial number 19 for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.45. In this video, we'll talk about the new City 2 integration. This is the first implementation. Anybody that has any feedback, please provide it. It'll be really helpful in improving this integration for future cases. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this scene, I have a basic terrain that I used Gaia to build. City 2 also has Gaia integration, so it'll clear out all of the trees and anything that Gaia spawns. The first thing that we'll do is open the tools simple traffic system STS tools window and we want to select import integration package and city to integration. We'll go ahead and press that and select import. What that's doing is installing the city to integration package. From here we can close the import integration package drop down. Next we'll select window city city editor. And when you open that, you'll have the city graph spawned into the scene. I'm just going to go over the basics to build a simple road network and then spawn traffic on it. If you want to learn more about city, you can go and watch the tutorials from that developer. With everything in the scene, I'll go ahead and I'll zoom in and I'll hold down shift and right click to start placing some nodes. Shift and left click to select a new node. And then shift and right click on another node to connect the nodes that are selected. And I'll just build out some simple roads. Place a couple more. Now that I have some nodes placed, I'll go ahead and click the Blend City to Terrain button, and I'll click Yes to create a backup. I'll go ahead and fast forward this portion of the video while it's processing. All right, now that all of the cleanup has been done with City, we can switch to the STS Tools window. The first thing we'll do is spawn an AI traffic controller, and then we'll change the configure mode to City 2. And now we can press the Generate button. Let's go ahead and enable the gizmo so we can zoom in and see what that did. Reduce the scale of the node for city. You can also toggle that off. Here we can see that we have waypoint routes generated, spawn points generated, and the traffic lights are also configured. All of these objects are located under the city STS generated content object. You can see that we have all of our routes and our light managers configured. If we scroll through those, we can see that they each have references to various traffic lights generated by City. And all of these are all connected. So let's go ahead and press play. And at this point, I'll turn off gizmos so we can see a little bit better and I'll maximize the scene view. So one of the things that I just noticed is that City did generate some content in the roadway. Let's go ahead and delete those buildings and make sure there's nothing else generated in the roadways. All right, so we'll press play and maximize again. Now we can see that we have traffic driving along the roads. They're stopping at the intersections. Intersections are currently configured with round robin. So first, this intersection was active. Next, it's this one. And after that, it will be the next one. And they'll just go in a circle. If we zoom around, we can see we have a nice fully populated city on top of our terrain with traffic driving around. And just to go over some of the options that are available for route settings, you can choose to not spawn spawn points if you want. So if we clear and generate again, the next time routes are generated, no spawn points will be configured. That way you could do something more custom. And you could also configure the cars spawn per route. If we scroll up to the routes, each route has an option for spawn amount. 
and we could see that the car spawn per route is set to the spawn amount. And then we have the waypoint size, which is the size of the waypoints. These are configured to be five wide, so it's harder for AI cars to miss the waypoints. And then we have the default speed, which is set on all of the standard roads. The intersection speed, which is set on the intersection routes, which are these right over here. The cul-de-sac speed, which is this little section at the end. And finally, the max density for pooling. If you do decide you want pooling enabled, it'll set that max density for you. And that's about it for the city integration. Thanks for checking it out. Let us know what you think.